Welcome to this Animal Performance Plus training video. In this video, we'll provide an overview of editing an animal's traits. So you can only edit traits recorded against an animal in a session, as the session is the source of truth for this data. Traits are things about an animal that may change over time, like weight, congestion score, or pregnancy status. A trait can be added to an entire session of animals, a selection of animals, or an individual animal within a session. So let's jump in and show you an example of how to uh, edit and create a trait against an animal. We're going to jump into a session and select an individual animal from within the session. I'm just going to select the top one, hit the action icon, and press on the bulk edit icon here. We'll see that by default we land on life data, so we're going to click on traits where we can see all of the traits that have been recorded about this animal in this session. So we've got live weight and condition score. Because I want to add a new trait called foot health, I'm going to click on add new, and I'm going to type in foot health to see if it exists. I've got a foot score, but that's not what I want, so I'm going to create a new trait. Let's click on create new and give it a name called foot health. Now I need to select a type that I want to give this trait. So we have five different options here, a list of values which we're going to use for this example, for foot health because we want a good or a bad, it's really simple, we don't want a lot of different values for this trait, so a list of values is a really good example for that. Numeric is something that you're going to manually type in on the scale, so this could be a number of points on a deer for example, text which you would also need to manually type in if you had it on a scale, so that could be things like maybe who you brought the animal from, a date trait, uh, which would be good if an animal arrived on your property, you might want to set a date trait for that, and a calculative trait, which is a multiplication of weight. So if you wanted to calculate the carcass weight of your animals, for example, you could put 0 0.55 in there and it would give you an estimate of the carcass weight based on your live weight. But for this, we're going to use list of values as the, as the foot score will only ever be good or bad, and I want to make it really easy to select on the scale in future. So list of values, we're going to have good for the first one, and bad for the next one we're going to create this new trait so this is now available to us if i type in foot i'm going to have foot health here as an option i'm going to put good because i wrote down in my pocketbook that this animal had a really good foot health i'm going to add that to this animal in the session now we can see that there's three traits that are recorded against this animal clicking on update will apply the change and now if i was to scroll across on the session i would be able to see that this animal has a new trait recorded against it called foot health this trait is also now accessible to me on my scale as well so if you want to find out more information about editing life data or activities those are really similar but check out the life data and activities videos for more information on editing those data types and we'll see you there